Hello my nerds, welcome back to the Valentine's Day special. Today is Valentine's Day, so congratulations all of you who are happily bonded with another. And if you're one of the unluckies to not quite have that perfect person or perfect entity, I know the perfect date for you guys. That's right, JavaScript date objects. That's what we're talking about in this video. So yeah, if you're looking for a hot date, I got one for you. <laughs> so awkward. So you create a JavaScript date object and you're wondering where would be the perfect location for this hot date? Well, pff, don't go to the, one of those cliche places like Paris or to the movies. Don't be that guy. Instead, take your date somewhere special, like a coding boot camp such as Dev Mountain. That's right, if you take your date to a coding boot camp, you'll come out feeling bonded closer to one another. And there's no better place than Dev Mountain as they offer housing at no additional cost. So if you really want to know JavaScript, check out Dev Mountain. I'll leave a link for you guys in the description. You'll come out of here ready to take on a career in web development. Thank you guys, and now let's get back to our rather normal tutorial. <laughs> So we've talked about all kinds of different data types here. We've talked about the primitive data types, we talked about arrays, and we even talked about some on objects. Well, now we're gonna be creating an object, one that the constructor has already been defined for us. So it's called a date object. So you can do something like this, var, and then you can name it whatever you want. And I'm just, you know, gonna go off that play on words, right? Valentine equals new date. So what is going on here? What, what is this? Why are we doing this? Well, this is known as a constructor, if we haven't talked about this yet, or if you're just not uh, remembering. <laughs> a constructor is a special function that's going to return an instance of something. So this is going to create an instance of a date, which is a special object that can be used to store day, year, hour and minutes and all that good stuff. This video is gonna be the concept behind a date. In the next video, we're gonna go into how to create them and how to use them. So this constructor exists, we can use it, and we have to use the new keyword. And that is important. You always do that when you're going to create a new object from a constructor. So whenever we call this constructor and don't pass anything in here, it's going to default to right now. And by right now, I mean whatever time you're watching this, not the time that I'm saying this, because that wouldn't be right now, that'd be in the past. So if you want to see that, you can log this date to the console, and then you just throw the variable name there, and when you do a refresh on the page, every time you refresh, that date is going to update, because every time you refresh, it gets a new date, and that time is going to continually be the present. <laughs> so if you want to see that change, go into the console and do that, it's pretty cool. So this will give you something along the lines of Thursday the 14th, 2019. And then it'll give you the hour, the minutes, and the seconds. Then it's going to give you the time zone. And this is where it's going to change from person to person. So you might get something like GMT minus 0600, for example, which would be central time. So it would say something like central time. So as for this actual number, you might be wondering like, what is that? What is GMT minus 0600? Well, there is a standard time zone known as GMT. That's kind of like what the rest are based off of. So you can think of central standard time as GMT minus six hours. So you might see GMT minus five or GMT minus four or plus three, whatever. It's basically a way to standardize the time. You generally don't have to worry a whole lot about this part here though, because it's going to update automatically based on the time zone of your computer. Now, if you wanna be specific on a date and not just get the date of right now, you can pass information into this constructor to define what date you want. So the bare minimum is the year and the month. So for example, we could say 1990 month 11, but there's a gotcha you need to know about. This is the month but it's zero based, meaning this is actually December. So the months go from zero to 11. The zero based thing is not the case for the year. So 1990 is actually 1990. Same for the day. If you go in here and add another argument, 
you could say December 31st, for example, like so. That is also not zero based, so 31 is day 31. Now when you're working with dates, you should also understand that there are times when we're going to be working with milliseconds. So just a huge number of milliseconds from a particular date. And this day is known as the Unix Epoch. So where exactly am I going with this? <laughs> well, if you do something like new date and then pass in a number of milliseconds, you can basically say an exact point in time. So for example, you can represent right now in a number of milliseconds from this Unix Epoch, which is January 1st, 1970. So you could basically start counting milliseconds from this exact moment in time and represent any moment in time. <laughs> so just give it a try. You can get the exact milliseconds for right now by doing date.now. You can use dates for a lot of different stuff. For example, you might want to time how long it takes to do something, or you might want to keep track of when something happened. You're going to be using dates a lot and it's good to get a lot of practice with them. So what we're going to be doing in the next video is we're going to be taking some of these principles we just talked about, go through some examples in code, have a little bit of fun, and you know, have a little bit of a Valentine's Day celebration by being on our computer coding. Yeah, fun. So be sure to check out the next video. And once again, guys, I hope you have a great evening. Maybe if you have a special someone in your life, make sure you let them know that they're important to you and that you care about them. Yeah. Hey, I just wanted to let you know that I love you. I love you too. <laughs> Thank you. Really excited. Yeah, just uh, just reminding my viewers to 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 tell their special ones that they love that that you love them. So I was giving them an example. Have a good day. Bye. See you guys.